The U.S. Citizenship Test assesses a naturalization applicant's knowledge of U.S. government, history, and geography. The exam is given verbally during the U.S. Citizenship Interview. There are 100 questions in the Citizenship Test. During the interview, the immigration officer will ask the applicant 10 questions out of the 100, and the applicant must answer 6 correctly in order to pass the civics test. In this video you will find all 100 questions and correct answers for the civics test. The questions are organized into the following categories. American Government American History Integrated Civics Easy to learn and remember. Boundless tip. If you are 65 years or older and have been a green card holder for 20 or more years, you only need to study the questions marked with an asterisk. Group 3. Integrated Civics. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Missouri River. What ocean is on the west coast of the U.S.? Pacific Ocean. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean Name one U.S. territory Guam Name one state that borders Canada. New York. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. Name two national U.S. holidays. President's Day, Independence Day. Group 2. American History Name one reason colonists came to America. Freedom Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. Which group of people was taken to the U.S. and sold as slaves? 
Africans. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes, taxation without representation. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776 Name three of the thirteen original states. New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. When was the Constitution written? 1787 Name one of the writers of the Federalist Papers. James Madison Name one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for. U.S. Diplomat Who is considered the father of our country? George Washington Who was the first president? George Washington What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory Name one war fought by the U.S. in the 1800s. Civil War Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery Name one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did. Freed the Slaves, Emancipation Proclamation What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the Slaves What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson
Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil Rights Movement What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for Civil Rights What major event happened on September 11, 2001, in the U.S.? Terrorists attacked the United States. Name one Native American tribe in the United States. Cherokee Group 1. American Government What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27 What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announced our independence from Great Britain. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life, Liberty What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law.
Name one branch or part of the government. Congress What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president Who makes federal laws? Congress What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives How many U.S. Senators are there? 100 We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. Note, District of Columbia residents and those living in U.S. territories should answer that D.C. or the territory where they live as no senators. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435 We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. Name your U.S. representative. The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. Note, District of Columbia residents and those living in U.S. territories should answer that D.C. or the territory where they live as no House representatives. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. We elect a president for how many years? Four. In what month do we vote for president? November. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Vice President If both the President and the Vice President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Speaker of the House Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the Military? The President. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. 
Who vetoes bills? The President. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. Name two cabinet level positions Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Education. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Name one power of the federal government. To print money. Name one power of the states. Provide schooling and education. Who is the governor of your state now? The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. D.C. residents should answer that D.C. doesn't have a governor. What is the capital of your state? The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. D.C. residents should answer that D.C. isn't a state and therefore doesn't have a capital. Residents of U.S. territories must name the capital of their territory. Name two major political parties in the United States. Democratic and Republican. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic Party. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Patrick McHenry. Describe one of the four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Citizens 18 and older can vote. Name one responsibility that is only for U.S. citizens. Serve on a jury. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. Name two rights of everyone living in the U.S. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. Name one promise you make when you become a U.S. citizen. Obey the laws of the United States.
What age do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. Name two ways that U.S. citizens can participate in their democracy. Vote, join a political party. What date is the last day you can submit federal income tax forms? The date is typically on or around April 15th. When must all men register for the selective service? At 18.